Hello everyone! Welcome to my construction vlog. Today we're diving into a crucial part of foundation work. The sand filling process after piling is completed. The backfill we're using here, 100% clean sand, specifically screened and inspected. No trash, no brick debris, no impurities. A few days ago, all the reinforced concrete piles were driven deep into the soil. These piles are the load bearers. They'll carry the entire structure. Even though it's been raining heavily, the team's pressing on. Sand filling stays right on schedule. Watch this. The excavator's dropping scoops of sand into square footing pits. These are where the reinforced concrete pads will go. They support the building's entire weight. If you're building a home and new to this process, this is where we prepare the ground before we pour the actual foundation. Once the base is solid, the structure will stand strong. Each pit is aligned exactly as per the blueprint. The excavator fills it with heavy scoops. Looks simple, but requires precise control to avoid disturbing the piles. The worker follows up, spreading sand evenly so the fill is compact and stable. A few trucks? Nowhere near enough. This takes a ton of sand. Why sand? Coarse yellow sand drains well, and when compacted, creates a firm base, better than soil, way better than stone. Careful, watch how each scoop avoids hitting the piles. It's delicate work. Even the bucket's tilt is managed carefully so the leveled sand isn't disturbed. That excavator, it moves slowly but powerfully. Each scoop hauls dozens of kilos, beats shoveling that's for sure. Once filled, we'll use a vibrating compactor to press everything down, but that's tomorrow's task. Look closely. Every pit is perfectly spaced and marked. Width, depth, height, all checked using levels, measuring tape, and string guides.
Another sand truck just arrived. Still one excavator, so it's slow going, but steady. The workers still there, smoothing the sand, pit by pit. Tedious, but critical. Sincere. See the guy in the black shirt, way back there? That's my uncle. He's cutting the bougainvillea tree. It's been there for years, but to make space for the new house, it has to go. Honestly, we were all attached to it. But building this house means making room, physically and emotionally. Sometimes you have to let go of the old to build something new. Today is only halfway done, but it's solid, methodical. Take note, always have a site supervisor. Poor leveling means a poor foundation, and that affects everything above it. Building a house isn't just about bricks or beams. It's a journey, a 
a sky full of emotions. Each day, I learn more and see why every step matters. I hope this vlog helps. Whether you're planning your own home or starting a business space, it's about building knowledge and confidence. Today, we focused on sand filling, prepping for concrete pads. Weather's good, we'll start pouring tomorrow or the next day. And that's it, footing pits, filled and leveled. If you're enjoying this series, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll post updates daily. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.